Hello. Hi. I'm Eitan. And I'm Leora. And we are the Koach Eitan Initiative. If you haven't been following until now, we are an initiative that strives to educate and raise awareness about aphasia and stroke. And today we wanted to share um, something special with you. Um, as you all know, we have a holiday coming up, a Jewish holiday called Pesach or Passover. And uh, for, for those of you who know what it is or those of you who don't know what it is, um, tomorrow night is Pesach, uh, is Passover. And tomorrow night we have something called a Seder. A Seder is, um, starts the Pesach, the Passover holiday. Um, there's a big meal, of course, because of course. everything around the Jewish people <laughs> is, uh, is, is food. Uh, yes, of course. <laughs> but before the, before the Seder, before the meal, um, we read something called the Haggadah. The Haggadah is a book and it tells about, we read about the Jewish people um, leaving Egypt, leaving the tribe, and um, you know, from slavery into freedom. And uh, there's different parts of the Haggadah. You can see there's a lot of pages and a lot of words in the Haggadah. And this is something for that people with aphasia um, have difficulty with. You have no idea. Uh, usually, it, it, different families have different uh, traditions. But, you know, in our family, we like to go around the room and everybody reads a paragraph or a page. And then, then somebody usually says something about that paragraph and they want to contribute a nice thought or idea. And um, before Eitan Stroke, Eitan was a huge, huge fan, huge fan of Seder. Chobaz one. Um, you can see in his Haggadah, he's got notes written all over the Haggadah, um, different, um, different, uh, different pages and different things. And um, this is something that um, is a little frustrating. You have, yeah. For Eitan. Chobaz man. People with aphasia, um, they sometimes know what they want to say, but they can't get the words out. This is the type of aphasia that Eitan has. Um, there are different types of aphasia. You can you can go on our on our uh, website and you can you can read about all the different types of aphasia. Eitan has something called Broca's aphasia, which means that Eitan knows what he wants to say, but he can't get the words out. He also has trouble with reading and writing. Um, and yeah. that's really, really frustrating for him. So you can see the Haggadah is, like I said, a lot of pages with a lot of words and a lot of um, writing. Um, and it's very hard, very hard. Very for hard. Eitan not only to read, but to say yeah. what he wants to say. For sure. And, and with the memory loss also, you know, sometimes you know, he, for, he doesn't really remember yeah. what he wrote or what he said. Um, and so the past year, you know, the past four years have just been not easy. No. Um, and no. during the Seder, um, upstairs and Zoom. he doesn't usually partake in a lot. And sometimes he just gets very frustrated and, and goes upstairs, and yeah. goes to the couch. Yeah. Um, so this year, this um, year. Uh, we wanted to share with you that Eitan started um, working um, and meeting up with a spiritual coach, a rabbi. His name is Rabbi Johnny Solomon, who is wonderful um, and just an amazing, amazing, Unbelievable. amazing person, an amazing friend, an amazing coach. Yeah. It's become, they have become, him and his wife have become, and his family have become very good friends. Um, yeah. And so, and we're just very grateful that, um, that he popped into our lives. Um, and so yeah. a couple of months ago, uh, or about a month ago, um, Rabbi Johnny Solomon asked Eitan what he was doing for Pesach, how, what he does at the Seder, and what did you say? Nothing. <laughs> nothing. I, nothing. When you can't feel included and when you can't contribute, yeah. then that's kind of how you feel. Yeah. Um, and so usually what happens is, and also... When you're not contributing, you yeah. also lose interest yeah. very quickly, you, um, yeah. Yeah, yeah. and that's kind yeah, yeah. of what happened in For sure, a kilo. So, salami. so Rabbi Johnny said, Rabbi Johnny Solomon said, "What well, do you mean? What do you mean? Like, did you have a hagada? Did you have a something?" And Eitan went and got him his hagada, and showed him all of the writings that he had and all of his notes. And then I remembered that that he has this whole Google Docs 
folder of um, of Pesach um, of the past of the Haggadah, notes on the Haggadah, thoughts and ideas. And so the two of them, we 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 sent it. You know, the two of them opened up the Google Docs and the Haggadah, and they took. And Eitan has more than one Haggadah, so there's a lot of thoughts and ideas going on here. And so Eitan um, and Rabbi Jani, they sat together and they um, took out um, different thoughts and ideas that they thought um, our family and others would appreciate around the table, around the Seder. And so the two of them compiled something called um, Haggadah Insights by Eitan Ashman. And inside um, are short um, thoughts each page has a different thought and a, or an idea about different parts of the Haggadah. Um, Eitan's is bigger so that Eitan can hopefully try and, with my help, read um, some of them. And some of them are going to be read by those around the table. We made little ones for everybody else around the table um, so that now Eitan's thoughts and ideas can be brought to life and yeah. they can be shared, and Eitan can hear them out loud, yeah. and he can feel part of the Seder and be included, and it's, yeah, no, it's a total it, game changer. Um, do you feel, like, what do you feel? Do you feel good? Great. <laughs> yeah, you feel accomplished? Are you excited for the Seder? Unbelievable. You haven't heard that in a long time. No, no, no. <laughs> Ser- no, no, no. Seriously. Yeah. So this is, holidays up bring up a lot of emotion. Yeah. If anybody else, you know, if anybody's gone through any sort of anything, yeah. holidays or any type of loss, holidays yeah. bring up a tremendous amount of, of emotions. Yeah. And I think that to feel included and to feel loved yeah. and to feel like you can contribute something to that holiday can make that holiday more yeah. special and that event more special. Yeah. And so um, Rabbi Johnny Solomon and Eitan yeah. did a fabulous job. And for anybody that is suffering or challenged with aphasia or who has trouble speaking in public um, or around the table and who wants to contribute something, um, you can let somebody else read it for you. And if together you can pull your thoughts out with somebody else and write them down, then you can you know, have your thoughts read by someone else or said by someone else. And, uh, and we just thought that this was such a great um, piece of information yeah. to share with you because, again, aphasia is loss of language yes. and not intellect. No. And this is something so important that people need to understand. Everybody wants to feel included. People with aphasia are, are, under, are awesome. Yeah. And they just need to, people to understand how to work with them, how to talk to them, how to communicate with them. And that's what we are trying to do for the public, for the world, for everybody. And if anybody has any questions, you can reach out at koacheitan at gmail.com or you can go to our website. And with this, we want to say... Chag Sameach. Chag Sameach. Uh, we wish you a wonderful, wonderful holiday and or any other holiday that any of you are celebrating. Um, thank you so much for joining our initiative and watching this. And hopefully you will be able to teach and spread the word and share more awareness about aphasia and and stroke and uh thank you thank you happy holidays happy holidays